What's the news? Uh, we didn't really get around to it yesterday because we were going down an NFL wormhole in the middle of this, the week. What do you got for me over there? What did uh, the NBA come up with? Because, um, you know, this whole business of showing up to games and not seeing star players because they're resting to make sure that they're ready for the playoffs because they got injured seven months prior is about to stop. What do we have over here, Yeah, there, it's, it's, it's really something. The NBA Board of Governors uh, voted on Wednesday. So they approved tougher resting policy rules and punishments for star players who sit out games, including national television and the in-season tournament, as well as teams having multiple all-stars sitting out together uh, for regular season games. So one of the new rules, according to Woj, uh, teams will be fined 100K for a first violation, 250K for a second, and a million dollars or more than the previous penalty for additional violations. So basically it gives the league uh, authority for greater oversight over all of this stuff. Um, according to Adam Silver, his quote, I think this is an acknowledgement that it's gotten away from us a bit, particularly when you're seeing healthy players who are resting. Facts. It becomes maybe even more a notion of stature around the league as opposed to absolute needed rest. Facts. Uh, in total, 25 teams and 50 players are impacted by the new rules. Um, so who, is there a list of who they consider too valuable to sit? Like there that, is that a would list. be and what, me, uh, and what if, what if your players that. is is that a new metric that you're you want to make right. that list or you're offended that the NBA is like, "Oh, we don't care if you rest." <laughs> yeah, so, or, or or is this right. going to be a new metric as part of the collective bargaining agreement that you can get bonus money, right? If you're on the list of mm. players who are not allowed to rest, hey, that's like that's kind of like making second uh, team All NBA, and you get a you get a little bonus money for that. So the league memo went out to all the teams. So enforcement is going to be based on the league office investigations, okay, which will include independent medical reviews, which kind of what we were talking about before. So for example, so there's going to be hold on a second. There'll be like a load management doctor going around to all much. thirty teams. Yeah. So, for example, teams must manage their roster to ensure that no more than one star player is unavailable for the same game. So, for the the example that they used was, say, Boston would not be allowed to rest Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum in the same game unless they are both legitimately injured. So, they'll need a note from their doctor. That's basically it. Teams must refrain from any long-term shutdown or near shutdowns when a star player stops participating in games or plays in materially reduced role in circumstances affecting the integrity of the game. That's anti-tanking. So that's right there. anti-tanking. Okay. Like under that, Luka down so there. under that scenario, uh, last year, the Wizards and Blazers would have been Blazers. investigated by the league after yes. shutting down Bradley Beal and Dame Lillard at the end of last season. Wow. I like this. Hey, man. I, we I, went, I like it. We went. I took Cooper to that. Uh, remember that Clippers-Blazers game? Oh, yeah. And I took a shot of the of the scoreboard. And it looked like, you know, the G League had come to the yeah, NBA, yeah. you know, with all due respect to the players that were out there. And, you know, and and the Clippers rested a ton of players, too, because, you know, they'd already they'd already gotten a spot or I, it's it, it is for fans. Very frustrating. I remember yeah. when I went to Cleveland last year for that Ravens uh, Browns game on a Saturday that I called. You know, where it had just, you know, one offensive touchdown and the games before and after that were like points of Palooza's, but that's just for another day. Um, <laughs> that there were Cavs fans all over the place because that night the Mavs were in town, but it was on the back end of a back to back and they sat Luca. Then the next week, the Warriors came in and Steph Curry got sat because he had just right. been hurt and he was coming off back to back games. And it's just like, well, then don't schedule back to back games. It's just that simple. Right. And as you know, Kawhi didn't play back-to-back games last year because he was coming off of a knee injury from the previous year. So the NBA is defining a star player as someone who has made an all-star or all-NBA team in any of the three previous seasons. So in total, 25 teams and 50 players are impacted by the new rules. So Wembanyama doesn't fall under this rule. He does not. It's just weird. Like, you're going to have an independent doctor go and, like, what, you're going to overrule the team doctor that's been working with this player for years yes. and months? Yes, you are. 
That doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, it's, because... one of the, it's one of those things, you know. Oh, yeah, my arm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting out for a little bit. And yeah. then the NBA is going to come in and go, <laughs> really? Certainly if it's on a Saturday night or on, on their league partner. Well, na- again, nationally televised games yeah. or any of the in-season tournament games. There's got to be some rule against that, right? I mean, what I don't, I don't against know these, these hippo rules and these. You can't. Can you have another doctor come in and overrule the team doctor? Yes, you can. Working on that. Yes, player. you can. And their medicals, aren't they supposed to be any private? I don't doctor know. I'm just so wondering. There is, there is an age. Lots. There is an age element here that the NBA has uh, thrown in there. They will allow pre-approved designated back-to-back allowances. Huh. Mouthful for players who are 35 years and older oh, on opening so night. I'm good. So, I so can take it, days off. So and it's, career workloads of 34,000 regular season minutes or 1,000 regular season and playoff games combined. Those people have uh, NBA ARP cards. Pretty right? much. Pretty much. That's what they got. Pretty much. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's for the, you know, uh, obviously, LeBron James. Get a free uh, subscription falls to the under this NBA ARP card. Under car- this criteria. Uh, so we may magazine. not see you yeah. know, uh, LeBron sitting a lot this more Discounts on year. vacations, too. I use them. Sign of the times, gentlemen and ladies watching and listening. Sign of the times that a league needs to put out rules for making sure that healthy players play. It's it's nuts. Like, usually we're in the day and age of player safety, health and player safety. Now it's health and fan consumer safety. Rules have been put into place. Player health and fan consumer safety rules have put into place. You know, fan, well, it's just player health and league partner consumer protections have been put into place. For their billions, they're not going to be sitting there going, really? Right. Who are these people playing because, tonight? Because Star A played the night before. Both players are out because they've got a a week coming up where there's four games in it. I can't believe we've gotten to this point, but kudos to the NBA for for realizing it and saying this is the way it's going to get done. Good good luck enforcing it. So is this going to be a new position teams are going to have to hire someone for? Like like the load management schedule decider? Yeah, there's got to be a load. Here's the thing, though. This is like the secret. They already have load management advisors. There are people who come up with this plan in some room, somewhere, and like right now. Algorithm with the schedule or something. Chris, I bet they already have it. Every team right now before training camp starts next month, they already have it mapped out. Mm. All of it. They should. They have it all mapped out. They're looking at the schedule, and they're like, this player is probably not going to play here. This player is not going to play there because we see the back-to-back. We see the flight, you know. I mean – Honestly, they which team has um the was it it's Jacksonville. They've got like hydration level monitors in the urinals. Oh yeah. Like they're getting real time hydration levels from players as they're peeing. I, I'm I'm serious. Like that, that's no, the way true. it's happening now. That. So that if that's true. happening that's and true. if they're at that level at the professional athletics level like the nfl the nba must have this too of course and then on top of it they have it all mapped out so that person is now in charge go back to the drawing board hell yeah go back to the drawing board because some nine-year-old that's going to buy you know if i'm buying my 10-year-old daughter tickets to see a star i'm not going to show up to the arena and you know get my playbill and saying tonight's role is played by some g league guy you've never heard of (laughs) catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free